Still you can't be fed What is up guys, Son of Beast here. Game 4 is still continuing as we have still have another chance to look for another another shot of the game. It's OKC Funders against Utah Jazz with another rematch. This time, it's back at Utah. Let's find out and see if Utah can have a tie-breaking owner just like OKC in the second game. And it's time to check out what's going on in the neighborhood. On your screen is the schedule for the next two weeks. We've got 2K Compete events on deck. We're kicking it off Saturday with Rush 1v1. Get in the tent, win four games in a row, and earn your prizes. On Sunday, get in on the Dunk Fest. Work with your fellow community members to reach the goal. That's for tomorrow, so if you guys are, have the uh, bonus content, make sure you do that right now. To make a 2K completion of each game. Make sure you earn the award and do it what you can do. And by that, please, collect your awards and do your best as you can. Jazz are coming in so far. And right now, they're all dressed up and ready to go. And this game is brought to you by Express. Dress like a pro. Game four, we are ready to get things on. OKC takes a lead by two to one. But all we have to need to know is, uh, I switch it back into the regular court, and yes, this is the uh, regular court that they played. Uh, this is just regular right here. I'm just, I'm just making, I'm just switching that one up. All right. Anyways, let's check it over to David Aldridge. Um, in, a, in progress, Utah still has a chance for the lead, but OKC is trying to get there back again. Jazz, Jazzness is the, is the name. What they're calling for. Not even tough shop again, but this looks really good. Try to get there back as they can. And there's Dorian Smith on the uh, on the commentator. They're pushing for the season and trying to get back while they're putting it up through. Now here's David Aldrich. Well, the Utah Jazz tries to keep their players happy by financially incentivizing them. Contract bonuses include on-the-court performance, physical fitness, and off-season workouts. The team's general manager said, to be a significant program, we need to be great defensively and with individual development. The bonuses are created with those goals in mind. Kevin? Thanks, the goals are definitely putting up the spot. The key matchup for right now is Shoei Odrix Alexander and Donovan Mitchell. Mike Conley and Chris Paul are on the uh, point guard position. But for the center of the key matchup is Steven Adams and Rudy Gobert. They are putting some tough showmen to pull up on the game. But for this tip-off, this will never going to be happening again by Coach Cinder and Coach Donovan. Coach Snyder, sorry. Not Cinder. Snyder. And Coach Donovan. Game Four, here we go, as and we definitely have the winning tip-off for Utah Jazz. Gobert against Adams as he as they start, ready to go. Donovan Mitchell coming in, makes a two-pointer and wide-open shot was pulling up. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Dor Dorisburg trying to get that one correct. Adams passes to Paul. Here's Dort. Bounce pass to Paul. Over Conley. Oh, and he put it up pointer. Almost made a contested shot. And he got it in. Now here's Conley against Paul. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Puts it up. The rebound. Oh, almost went out of here, but Donovan Mitchell didn't see that coming. Gobert is showing no stop of energy. Now here's Paul. Way miss. Donovan Mitchell with a kind of looking for an open shot at that time. 
Takes the, takes the air. air. That's a point for Bogdan Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic has two points. The finishing Door coming in. Passes to Adams. Adams to Chris Paul. Back to Adams. That's the Dort. That's the Dort. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gallinari opening, opening shot will this continue in as Gallinari has two points. Good pass by Shelly Gilgix Alexander. And that's his first assist. Ball against Conley. Inside, here's Mitchell. Mitchell, turn around. Shuka Gilgix Alexander with a rebound. Oh, try to get out of here. Adams is outside, covered by Gobert. To the middle. Middle is Gallinari. Gallinari with the two pointer. Tied it up by six. Great pass by Adams. And Gallinari going right over him. Looking really good. Utah with the ball. Utah with the ball. Here's Conley. Covered by Paul. 440 left. There's a foul called on Gilgorgix Alexander. That's his, first That's his first personal foul on, on OKC Funders. With 4.37 left, here's O'Neal. Pass by Mitchell. Almost two and a half minutes in. Coming down to 4.30 left. Mitchell outside in the corner. Outside Conley. Pass to Conley. Down to five on the shot. Down to five. They gotta get it. Over Paul. Over Paul. Yeah, great defense. Just quick. Instinctive, all able to do it on ball. All right, still continue, well guys. Hold on. And already over a decade in the league for Mike Conley, he, he never got past the numbers game to make the All Star team in the crowded Western Conference. But make no mistake about it, Conley is star. So right now, that's a reaching foul as I'm going from here. And perhaps uh, I have a fan on, but I, I don't. But that's not enough air for me. You know why? I'm telling you guys, it's hot in here. How's I'm going over? So right now, we're still continuing here as Conley against Paul. The shot, off the bar. Gilbertrix Alexander with the rebound, but they still have the tie. Frustrated trying to break through. But the breakthrough is cut release. Steven Adams got the point. Great pass by Shield to Gorgix Alexander. And that's a two-pointer on the board. To win. Here's Conley. Conley finding an open pass. First quarter of play and uh, he passes to Mitchell. Pass to Conley. Screen on Gobert. Conley with the roll up, and this one will go on in. So here are the uh, field goals 80% for the Funders and 50% for the Jazz. These guys need to Gallinari pass to Adams. Here's Adams. Michael Conley making his last Adams pass to Paul. He uses the glass board to put the backboard in as this one comes up. A tie, another tie breaking through, and they're pulling up the fight between between OKC and Utah. Timeout game against Oklahoma City. It was timeout called by Jazz. Their first timeout. Two fifty left. Ten day. Everybody. You're gonna have to do it. Do it another way and take another dose. So Utah is making some another changes here. Ed Davis is back in after he played with the uh, Toronto Raptors since the last time he was here. Then uh, then he's now with the uh, with the Toronto Raptors. Moutier has the first bucket in. Davis Ingles, uh, Royce O'Neal. I don't know if I say it right. Clarkson and Moutier. Schroeder rolled up here, but there's a block going on Moutier. Get on our way. Clarkson with the shot. 220 left. Schroeder still has the ball, but that's a rejection by uh, by Moutier. Diallo. He passes right back to Schroeder. Over Moutier. And that doesn't go in. Davis puts up another rebound. Ingles against Ferguson. 
Rolls up. Clarkson for three. Nails it wide open. Clarkson's got five points. Schroeder pass to Diallo. Down low. Oh, tipped it away. Now, here's Ingles. Here's Ingles. Deflect. And a touchdown of bounds. That it means it's OKC ball. Rudy Gobert, that was the last 30 days that he did play. 13.4. But, uh, but, his, but his shot is coming out way higher than expected. Well, certainly with Ferguson passed to Noel. Noel passed to Ferguson. So the other guys can Ferguson to Shooter. Now here's Shooter. Shooter. Way shot. And that one falls in for two. Good uh, shot by good pass by Ferguson. But that shot for Dennis Schroeder, he's way harder to expect that. He's doing really hard alone. Not putting up too much, not putting too much pressure on each. Moutier, a, a shot fake. Rebound by Gobert. It goes to the reverse layup by the rim. Gobert has the second bucket. Schroeder trying to put up another another hand. Now here's Noel. Noel passed to Schroeder. Schroeder to Ferguson. Right to Diallo, back to Schroeder. The layup off again. Moutier calls the first personal foul. As a ref gave the, gave the Utah a first team foul. What does Schroeder have to do? No other uh, competitions to give out. And no longer Billy Donovan trying to give it all alone. I think for all sure he just enjoys going out and competing on a team with high aspirations. It's been a good fit. Two shots for Schroeder. Trying to make the layup, but it didn't work. <clears throat> Schroeder missed the first free throw. Greg, last season, Dennis Schroeder transitioning to more of a six-man role with the Thunder. And for his first go at that role, just one shot left. Looked really good. He's Don't worry, he'll take more time here. Gotta get there. And coming off the bench might be the best spot for him. Schroeder hits the second free throw. You know, Greg, for the Thunder fans, hard to see their star. And they are trailing by four. Clarkson comes up. Oh! What a dunk move by Clarkson. That pulls up a six, po six to seven points. Wow. second difference, shot and game clock. 25 seconds to go. Muscala to Diallo. Tough contest shot, but Diallo has it. Good job attacking. Great job attacking that time for Diallo as he has two points. Just 10 seconds to go. The foul goes on Muscala, their 13 foul on Thunder. Gobert tried to settle things in already, but this one was too much, too much with the pressure. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First, first trip for the free throw line is Rudy Gobert. Shooting two. <clears throat> Stop the clock at 10.2 seconds. Looking confident. We'll see how he, how he does. The free throw, jumps, free throw jumps it in. Seven foot one, Rudy Gobert has become known as the Stifle Tower, and this guy is starting to excel and get a bigger role on the offensive end. <clears throat> Trying to get my oh, voice clearer. Second, so but it looks two. like Muscala made the rebound after the foul was on. Here's Noel looking for Ferguson. Oh, drilled the three from outside, and Ferguson's got three points. First quarter has ended. 20 to 18. Lots of scoring comes up by Jazz, but not for the funders, but they're looking for some answers here. Will we return shortly?
ups and downs of injuries and early on in my career not being able to be consistent enough to be considered a top guard in the league and making myself work that much harder to get my game to a level where I feel that I can compete against anybody in the league and that's what I'm most proud of is just being able to withstand that. Great work ethic is the great look for the uh, for for, the dip, for Mike Conley as he plays his career on his development that he wants to go face with this competition that time, but this one wouldn't be helping that long. Shooter right over here, Moutier. Moutier wasn't seeing that coming, but Dennis Schroeder, wow, how tough are you looking at? Dennis Schroeder, boom that shot. There's a, there's a chance here about Dennis Schroeder wants yeah, to get some uh, good hotspot shots. He now has five points. Moutier pass to Colbert. Clarkson coming in. Oh, take it away by Diallo. So on the floor for Utah. Good pass. And it's Joe Ingles. Then the solid deep was on Rudy Gobert. Here's Clarkson. And the foul will take on Diallo. First, before the 2017 draft, Donovan Mitchell wasn't sure he was ready for the NBA. Mitchell said, I worked out in the summer with Paul George and Chris Paul. They were the ones who convinced me to keep my name in the draft. They said, look, you're good enough. Just go out there and show it. Kevin, through a couple of seasons in Utah, that's exactly what Mitchell has done. He Mitchell has done so much harm, and you can think about what his, uh, what his ability was going out through, but this was happening last time, back in 2017. Jordan Clarkson trying to break the tie. He didn't get the first one. But here are some new changes for OKC. Diallo is checked out, and Gallinari is checked back in. Ferguson is switched into the shooting guard position. Back in 2011. But Clarkson only has one shot left. A big upgrade offensively. He's trying to get it. Yep, broke the tiebreaker that, that time, and uh, but the game is not totally over yet. 21 to 20, trail by one. Schroeder finds Mushdala. Yeah, I think He's covered by Ed Davis, finds Schroeder, right over it's Ferguson, back to Schroeder, working around the ball hard for OKC. Oh, so close by Gallinari. This is where they shot, he had it the last time. Ed Davis was the first personal foul. Gallinari, one more look here. Let's find out one more look. Yeah, you see that? That was really close. He didn't get this one that far, but I think Gallinari didn't see that one coming. Stop the clock at 6.03 left. Gallinari shooting two. Man, tough offense looking for defense. But it's not too late to uh, put it up the second half. When the Utah fans know show you goes Alexander and Chris Paul comes in this from is a tough place to get a win on the road Greg. and Schroeder Rudy A. and Ed Davis subbed out Bogdanovich and Mitchell Jack Kidd those fans are loud proud and passionate I got a little bit spoiled up here but I'm all right and for the finger one of the assistant coaches leaving this past summer Greg Gallinari takes the lead is in for head coach Billy Donovan 22, 22 to 21 is your score. Clarkson, no time around. Mitchell with the no shot good. Oh, Goubert on the strong move. On the interior, this is just smash mouth physical ball. Right any other way? He's checked. And passed by Noel. Here's go the worthy Alexander. This happened after a loss against Utah back in game two. I mean game one. It looks like this is gonna happen in game game four. At least. But now the three is pulling up by Clarkson. Timeout call by OKC. And first time of the game called. That will be the first timeout game for OKC Funders. This won't be happening until long. Like though, like we're gonna have to like fix it up. So yeah. I don't have any choices for now. But this needs to be a good play. Not just the only one play at a time. This needs to be on the right moment. 
that being said, why do we need this? This won't be uh, good enough to uh, put up a, to put up any moments to look at. A different look for Utah and OKC funders. Ferguson and Noel are checked out. Adams and Dork check back in for the starting lineups. And same thing goes with uh, Utah Jazz. Saw some players who stayed humble and others who didn't. You know what Doris You close out Sander. Two pointers, good. They're pulling up behind uh, the Jazz's lead, 25 to 24. Just five under five minutes to go. Conley against Paul. So grounded. Utah with the ball. Avoid the screen by Brody Gobert. Shot for Mitchell. And there's another two-pointer for Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> so right now, uh, four points left. Of course, Paul only got four points. Paul passes to Adams. Now here's Adams. Adams to Dort. Over to the left wing. Gonna need to fix it. Shot clock at five. Try to stop here. His oh, tough move, but Adams got it. This guy is huge. This guy is huge. He's totally strong. Then uh, trying to get the trying to get up to the rim. He's not pushing out of here. He didn't get tripped off. And it's Conley with the ball. It's Conley with the ball. Covered up by Paul. About three minutes. Looking out of here. Good shot by Conley. Another pointer goes off on the board. Four minutes to play in the first half. Door. He only has. One assist, but not enough point to put up here. He's been patient so far. Yelling our eighth ball, 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 right over to Adams. Six to Adams, six. fast to Paul. High post shot. High post shot, no good. Bogdanovich with the rebound. Made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. On the free 30 left. Oh, pass blocked by Sheldon Gorgix Alexander. Here comes Dort. And slams it in. That counts as the bas basket is in. Rudy Gobert has his first personal foul. And just like other players that made a dunk, and the foul was on. But that was good enough for Dort to stop on the run. And pass assist by Shuri Gil Gorgix Alexander. Now here's Dort, taking one shot. Try to tie it up here, stopping the clock at 321 left. Dort ties it up. Is such an honor to be such an amazing amount here that time, but it looks like it keeps on going and going. Breaking new ground. Nice see. Oh, uh, that comeback here for Rudy Gobert has stopped on the before. Saying no, saying the quote, I have a responding responder if all the players wants to keep it going. But this needs to be a good amount of time to keep a to keep at least uh to keep at least a point again. If they have the choice, then they gotta do it. If they don't, then uh an entire team to have respect. Mitchell Moy in a lane and with the layup. Timeout will be called on the on OKC. And this one was definitely out of nowhere as Rudy Gobert and Mitchell are fighting our way to victory of game four. And right now we got some new changes here. Here's some stats for Donovan Mitchell since he played in the All-Star game, 23.7. And by that game, it won't be happening until longer as Donovan Mitchell has played in the 2020 season of the All-Star game. Paul pass to Gil Gorgix Alexander. He's covered up by Donovan Mitchell. Gilinari in the other hand. Now, here is Gallinari. Covered by Bogdanovich. Six. Shot. Bogdanovich. No good. Ed Davis with the rebound. The game has been very close Here now, 2.15 to go. O'Neal. Way out alone, but didn't have it. 
Bogdanovich with the layup moment. Got the lead up to six. Here's Gorgorich Alexander. We're down to two minutes. Paul passed to Gallinari. Over go Bogdanovich. Shot for Gallinari is no good. One of the most, uh, one of the most uh, heavy contested shot is having some off balance. Trying to put it back in. And a shot by Carly is good. The cutting lead is by eight. Ball pass to Gorgix Alexander. Pass to Dort. Right through Steven Adams. Here's Adams. Fade away. No good. As that great D that time for Ed Davis and puts it back in. Nice pass. Oh, no. Again, the foul goes on Gilgorjic Alexander. His second personal foul and their second team foul. Stop the clock at 108. Bogdanovich coming in and says, I got you covered. I got you covered. And Bogdan Bogdanovich did have that rebound. And there's the foul was protected up and off the rib. And yes, that's somebody just got to a push and that called the foul. That's what that's what happens that time. Shoot two. Shooting two is Bogdanovich. You guys remember that one in the first round, right? You should. First free throw is good. Bogdanovich makes the first free throw. They hear some new changes for OKC and Utah. Schroeder, Diallo, Ferguson, Muscala, and Noel. And then three players subbed out. Ingles, Clarkson, and Moody are checked back in. But Bogdanovich only has one shot, and he's with Ed Davis. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Mike Conley. OKC calls time here. With 108, and, up a young child and I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this up on offense here, so don't mind me if I have to, because I have to get there at a certain time. All I mention is one time one time a shot is not always better. It's got to be more. Put it back on here. So yeah, I uh, switched it and. There is no time left. Let's get let's get back into this game. After the substitution and the timeout, here's Schroeder. Just down to a minute left. Noel, Schroeder, right to Diallo. Pass it back to Schroeder. Over Moutier, and another shot for Shooter goes in. Shooter has got seven points. Only one steal that time by Moutier. Moutier to Bogdanovich. Try to put a screen. Reverse layup's good for Bogdanovich, and has another pointer out of, out of here. The aggressors. Just down to 30 seconds to go. Wide open look, no good for Noel. And he missed that, the first one. Madonna's left alone, and this one calling out the lead. Here's Diallo, right in the other lane. Billy Donovan should saying, give it relax, get it easy. Diallo gets it over to Schroeder. Passes back to Schroeder. To He's trying to look for some uh, bus beater shots. Got to get it. Three seconds. Here's a shot. Bus beater no good. And that's the first half that they have done. 43 to 31. Bogdanovich with on the roll again. And it's all over the place as they're writing up the poet for the notes. Now let's catch up to David Aldridge and see what David is up to. David. Kevin, thanks. New Orleans, you guys had a tough time stopping their offense in the first half. What do you have to do differently? You know, we got to protect the paint. They gave away too many easy baskets. You know, that's just communication on front of the public. You know, just communicate a lot more. We'll see if those changes stick. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Second half is underway. Don't go anywhere. And we'll be right back after this. 
Welcome back. As we have found some self uh, on new cases of the coronavirus, uh, a new case still going on, and we, we have some added, uh, added the people here after uh, this happened already. So, uh, since back in the February, since that happened here on March 9th, they've taken their time. There, we have some problems here, but they're still spreading everywhere in Jersey and other states. Almost out of almost 20 states are about to be planned to reopening pretty soon. Re really, uh, they already plan to reopen. But the but the but the but the NBA players in the South are trying to go for the playoffs here. But we're not sure if we're going to have to play it here or we're going to have to like cancel it. It might be too tough to look for it, but that's all we have to know. So yeah, so we're not sure what's gonna happen, but that's that's not gonna change really well. So anyway, we started off the third quarter. Here we go. Dort makes a move here at that time as Dort finally has that point. Right around uh, Royce O'Neal trying to get that one right out of the paint. Jazz leading by 10. ten. Conley only got some points starting to get there as that spot as possible. Conley, pass to Mitchell. Rolling up over Gorgic's Alexander. Steven Adams rebounds. Ooh, almost had a ball lost, but he got it recovered. There's a there's a blocking foul called on McDonovich. It's first personal foul. Hey guys, uh, we haven't seen any blocking fouls at that moment. That's that's what the that's what, that's what the key is. That's all I need to know. Oh, pass to Dort. Door back to Paul. Back to Door. Right down is to Gorgic Alexander. So Gorgic Alexander has another, and they are pull, cutting down by. I forgot. They're cutting down by by twelve. Gobert covered by Adams. Bogdanovich with the drive, no good, but he only had a couple time drive before he was there. Oh, Dort! A Dort dunk. Dort, downward Dort. Pulls a bunch. They're just, I'm just making that one up. It, it, it's not, it's not going to happen that time, you know? Anyway, here's Conley. Solid D on Chris Paul, and that was amazing. Uh, that's a good. Uh, that's a good rebound here for uh, for Stephen Adams. Mike Conley only has six, one assist that time. Five minutes left. Pass up to Kilgorgix Alexander. Sixteen feet away. Great rebound. The foul goes on Gobert. His second personal foul, and Stephen Adams are going to the line to shoot two. Stop the clock under 4.55, 4 minutes and 53 seconds. Is Adams, re for Steven Adams' record, he didn't have that, he didn't have that momentum of uh, what his ability looks like when he found out about Russell Westbrook and Paul George. They were noticing that they have to bring one of a franchise player back in. So Chris Paul and Gilinari are going for some uh, some other players that they're that they're going for other in other teams. But this might be a very uh, very nice side. Uh, might be a very nice uh, fitting in by each team. For that, Stephen Adams calling for the recruited players, and they're doing it well. Steven Adams delivers two free throws and, you and has six Steven points. Has his 4.50 to go. Conley against Paul. For this team. Has always been a great defender. Holding a stop on uh, um, Conley, but here's O'Neal. Didn't want to take it. Mitchell fights a basket, and there was the point turnaround. 4.30 to go. Here's Paul. He only has four. Here's the pass by Adams. Hold the ball to Gilgordix Alexander. Nope, no screen yet. And Rudy Gobert taking away. McDonovich with the shot. Timeout called by OKC Funders with 4.07 left. McDonovich only shot made twice. 
And now he has three, three, uh, three baskets already in. Four, I'm sorry. I, sh I should remember what they should say about that. Timeout, Funders. Here are some new groups here for the Funders and the Jazz. As we're taking a look for Bojan Bogdanovic, points that time was 18.0 in 2019 and 20. And of course, uh, his last game was with the uh, Pacers that time, and he never got a chance to do it anyway. But that being said, in 2019 to 20, in 2018 to 19 was a little bit too soon. So officials say that Bajanovic wants to have another team that could help him out and work. Mike Conley has his first personal foul, their third team foul for Utah Jazz. Coach Quinn Snyder, he's still still having some career seasons back in the game. Here's Schroeder, the one more look. Rudy Gobert would have had a rejection, but the first one was on Conley. Stop the clock under four minutes. 47 to 39. Let's find out what two shots is. Then a shooter hits the first free throw. And for the Thunder, here are some new groups here. Ingles is checked in by Bogdanovich. They have to begin with their strong interior defense. That lets their wings get out in pressure and take some chances. And now one shot defense for Shooter. Defense turned into a pillar for this team. Joe Ingles is checked in for the Jazz. He hits both free throws as Schroeder has nine points so far. Whether he's starting or coming off the bench. But they're trailing by six that time as Conley only has his first personal foul. So right now we're back in. Rudy Gobert, oh! He went out of bounds. Thunder has taken over the big gestures. Oh, the president. Get back up. Don't fall down. This was happening in the last three days for Dennis Schroeder. We know how this would happen, but this time it's gone way better than he ever would have. We were expecting to see that. Dylan Harry, a nice move here, a jump shot from the uh, right behind the uh, elbow. That's right over Ingles and behind the symbol of a Jazz logo. Just over three and a half minutes through the three and a half minutes. Here's Carly. Here's He's coming in. in. Finally back in number one. And there's a point bucket right in the scoring position. 59% for OKC, 61 for the Jazz. Shooter finds Diallo. Steven Adams went late, but took but but a chance to put a rebound in for Ingles. Nine rebounds for OKC, but only 18 rebounds for the, uh, the Jazz. Rudy Gobert had strong effort that time. He dishes up to Mitchell, and it's Mitchell with the reverse dunk. There's a reach foul called on Mike Conley, his second personal. Well, unfortunately, Conley is out on the court. Moody and Clarkson are checked in by Royce O'Neal and Conley. Deep pass, not being up a stun. Oh, Mitchell was not seen that time. And he's solid for Ingles. Says, Ingles are right here. And there's a shot. That was as you were expecting to look at by that pass that was that was uh, Joe Ingles. Or after that, Diallo with that shot, putting up a better time. Now Two fifteen to go. It's Art up in the way and Moutier finally has that point. The Jazz's Quinn Schneider has become one of the most respected head coaches in the league. And think, guys, a player poll even had him ranked seventh among Steven the Adams missed the three under just, just under two minutes to go. That is not exactly a free agent customer. Why is everybody not moving around? We got Clarkson with a dunk. We're not setting up too good. Oh, Donovan Mitchell. 
Yeah, you didn't get it that time, but uh, it but the shot was off the clutch. Well, you think about it. He played the game at a high level, of course, collegiately at Duke. He has paid his degree. With a shot for three. He's got tremendous intellect for the game. He, pissed. And there's this he missed it, and Mitchell had to recover. Throw it out of here, went for the crowd, out of bounds. That is by OKC ball. Now Gallinari and Adams are shoving out. Not even putting up the puzzle. Puzzle. Buscala and Noel are checked in. By Steven Adams and Gallinari. Ferguson to, Di to Diallo. Buscala over Ingles. And again, they missed it all of a sudden, and they are losing their patient. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Oh, the putback by Mitchell's good. They have the lead up by 14. Drive is good for Schroeder. Moutier has a second personal foul. That's their 15 foul for the Jazz. McDonavich back in. As Moutier was subbed out, only second personal foul was made. Schroeder taking one shot. Missing a lot of free throws for, for Schroeder, but he wasn't able to uh, help him out since the last time he was here. But this time he got one in. Even though they're down, they are putting Shooter has 12 at the free throw line. Clarkson. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for Utah. He brings it up by Utah after this game was happened. Kicks to Mitchell. Kicks to Mitchell. 29 seconds. Trying to get up on trying to get up facing the front. Clarkson lost the three, but the Donovich with a stop. The elbow, it's Gobert. It's Gobert against Noel. Pocket six. Pocket six. Good. Good. And that's another one for Gobert. Well, Rudy Gobert with a nice, efficient. Yes, they really like this Corp in the City one, but, but this time it was definitely. It doesn't matter if you like to put up this court or not. Buzzbeater going for it. And that shot is off. 61 to 48 to score. And that's the end of the third quarter. The Jags are looking for the tie to stop the series by the Funders. And they are doing it over again.